Alright, welcome back. This is the iPod Guru. I'll show you how to downgrade your iPhone 2G from iOS 3.1.3 to iOS 1.0. Links will be in the description. First, you want to downgrade, uh, download the kit, and then open Reds now. Identify the IPSW. Make sure it's iOS 3.1.2 right here. I've been identified. Oh, I have to identify it again. Press next. Alright, and click unlock. Alright, and browse the bootloaders. Right here. Make sure you put them in the right area. Click next. And then you want to put your device in DFU mode. First, power the, the device off. Alright. And when it's off, you want to press power till you get the Apple logo. And then press home at the same time. And then just hold the home button. Until uh, we might open iTunes so it, so it shows if we're all right. And we're in DFU mode. iTunes should pop up. You don't really want this. We're back to Reds now. Press next. Then it should say waiting for reboot. And now we're in the third stage. You just want to unplug the device. Plug it back in. This normally works. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, try and plug in again. Been waiting a bit. That's weird. Um, we'll be right back. All right, I just got uh, got a different version of that, and just said waiting for reboot. So it's actually doing it by itself. Um, so the version. We went from 9.4, 9.3, and you don't you just plug it in and it should work. It's gonna upload the RAM disk and it should be working. I'll put a little time lapse and then we should get back to iTunes 7. Since it's in the stage, do not touch it. It's going to be doing it by itself. Flush in the bootloader and boot ROM. It's going to also unlock your phone. And we'll be back. Alright, and after you unlock and downgrade the baseband and the bootloader, here comes the phone part. Alright, you may, this is from earlier, don't worry about that. I'm gonna turn the phone off. 
Okay, it's unlocked. Oh, slide to power off. Press and hold power and home at the same time. Release power. shift and click restore it, I have a folder for this but it's going this will be located in the IPSW's file of the 1.0 downgrade kit click 1.0 or if you want 1.1 it's up to you but I would say my person personally I would want 1.0 and we'll be back when this finishes. settings and there's a starting and then plugged in and you are going to get this all right so you want if my camera can focus Click OK. This trackpad sucks. I'm going to install Liberty Plus right here, and then this will not be in here. I'm gonna let you know that. This is just a pillows folder. Oh, um, well, let me just go here. Once I've already installed it, I'll show you what you have to move over. So these are the two files that will be in the folder. And you are going to go to Program Files, Liberty, and then Payload, and you're going to drag these two in. I'm going to X out of all this. Go to Liberty, up I Liberty, go to advanced, go to activate. Make sure this is selected. It doesn't recognize it, actually, that's kind of weird. Okay, now it does. Um, iTunes won't see it, now it does. All right. So, I'm gonna press go for it. Unplug and re plug in. I'm gonna press OK. And then it's gonna put the device in recovery mode. And then we're gonna take a look at the bottom of the screen. It says boot and RAM disk. So, you want to go to other tools. Jump out of recovery mode. I should look like this. Don't touch it, don't power it off, don't do anything. phone on iOS 1.
Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. We're going to be doing something with an iPhone 3G.